Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 14th of 2019. Well, it is titled Saturn behind the moon. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image that does show both the moon and Saturn in a single image. And this was taken as a single image and then later processed so that Saturn would be a little bit uh, more visible relative to the much brighter moon. Now, these are two objects. Of course, we know Saturn is a planet and in fact, the second largest planet in the solar system, many, many times larger than our moon. But of course, when we see them from Earth, the moon is very close to us and therefore appears larger. And Saturn being many times further away will look much, much smaller. So you can see it out there in the distance just off the upper right hand limb of the moon. And you can see the planet itself as well as the rings around it. Now, of course, we don't see them in any great detail as we have seen many great pictures of Saturn from the Cassini uh, spacecraft. But there's a big difference when you're actually out there at Saturn versus being here on Earth. Now on the moon itself, we see a very nearly full moon and not quite you can see that the right hand limb is still a little bit in shadow. So this would be the waxing gibbous moon, meaning that it is slowly getting a little bit more illuminated every single day and we'll be approaching full moon tomorrow. So that will be we're getting very close to that. And that means that late over the course of the day, that last little bit will be illuminated. And tomorrow, when you look at the moon, it will look completely full. Now it'll actually look full pretty full a day or two around that it's just a matter of uh, the appearance, but it'll look pretty much full. Now when we look on the moon, we can see in this nice photograph a lot of the details that we are uh, familiar with on the moon. We can see that it's divided into two areas. There's a lighter air area that has uh, more craters on it. And that's the highlands, the older areas. And then we can see the darker area, the maria or the seas. That is a much younger area. And if we look on those, we see far fewer craters. Now using crater counts and the number of craters on a solid object is a great way to estimate its age. And we can use this to compare relative ages of objects across the solar system. The more craters we see, the more heavily cratered a surface is, the older it is, the longer it has been exposed to uh, meteors from space to cause those impacts and to cause those craters. The more the fresher it is, the less time it has been uh, been, av been uh, made available to space. So an object like our moon where we can see areas with lots of craters are very, very old. Something like our own Earth which has you know only a couple of hundred craters at the most is much much younger. So we can use this again across the solar system to really be able to tell which objects are older and which surfaces are younger. So here we can see that in our image for today. Nice picture of the moon. Uh, very uh, detailed and then of course Saturn off in the distance and if you were at the right location Saturn, the moon would have actually passed directly in front of Saturn blocking it out so we call that an occultation when one object blocks out another in this way so sometimes because the, of the paths of the moon and the planets and various stars the moon or a planet can pass in front of a star the moon can pass in front of a planet and that is something else that people will do lots of photographs of trying to get those nice images when one astronomical object passes in front of another. So that was our picture of the day for August the 14th of 2019. It was titled Saturn behind the moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.